Do you want to be able to hide your view models on command like this? Do you think you would aim better if certain weapons were hidden? Well boy do I have the tool for you. Lightroom's competitive view model mod makes this super easy and installing it is just as easy. So let's go! Alright, so starting off here, you go to the Team Fortress TV thread and you want to hit the thing where it says just download this installer and then it will install up here. You want to open this up, you might get some warnings about it, but it's completely safe, I assure you. But it's as simple as it looks, it's just a simple UI, you go through each class and figure out what you want to hide. I recommend hiding scouts, like shotguns and stuff. I also aim better with sniper SMG when it's hidden, I don't really know why. But you have complete say over it, you can do whatever you want, whatever makes you aim better, you know, you can do. When you have it figured out, you want to hit select Team Fortress 2 folder. It won't let me do it right now, but you basically just want to go to the drive you have Steam on, go to Program Files x86, go to Steam, go to Steam Apps, Common, and then Team Fortress 2. And you just want to select this folder on this little section here, and then hit Install. After it's installed, you can just hit OK and close this. And now that you've done that, it should work if you relaunch your game. As you can see, it hides my scattergun, but I can still see my Luger Morph and my Atomizer. Unfortunately, this doesn't happen by default, and you'll have to preload them in a room. However, you can get around this by using a map like this and making it the map background. It's very easy, you just want to scroll down to Manual Download and hit Download. The zip will download, you want to open this up. Keep this BSP copied. You want to find your way back to your Team Fortress 2 folder, go to TF, Maps, and then you paste. I already have it so it's going to say this, but you shouldn't have it. Now all you want to do is right click on Team Fortress 2 in your Steam library, go to Properties, then you want to paste what I have in the description here, make sure there's a space on the front and back, and then the end, there you go. All this is going to do is make it so your background of the main menu is orange when you launch the game. You can leave this if you want it'll make it go back to normal but you don't really have to all that does is it makes it so it preloads the animation so it works on valve servers and any community servers so uh yeah that's all you really gotta do hope you enjoyed this video and uh look out for more tutorials in the future